I mean, Emotiva, without a doubt, is a disruptor. <laughs> I'm, I'm amazed by that. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, I, and I'm not being coy. Emotiva started as my therapy. It was my, um, it was my, like a little comfort zone in my life. I'd always wanted to have a brand. I had a brand when I was very young, in my 20s, and I, I should have stuck with it. And I, I was, I didn't have any money. So I was doing OEM work for other brands. I gave up my brand aspirations when I was a young guy and ended up having a pretty successful career as an OEM builder for other companies. And you get a certain momentum going, and you get a family, and you get responsibilities, and you get used to the business that you're in. But I'd always, in the back of my mind, wanted, uh, wanted my own thing. I had this idea for Emotiva in the back of my mind, and I had a good friend of mine in the hi-fi business, a really well-known uh, speaker engineer. And we were talking on a plane flight one night, and I said, I got this idea for this brand, and I'm gonna, I want to I wanna do it. And, uh, and I started Emotiva really as a pure hobby in my garage, or in, in this case, the basement of my house. And I didn't have any aspirations for it other than I just wanted something I could work on that was mine, that represented my values and my thinking about what design should be and product should be. And the big thing I wanted to do was I wanted to reintroduce the affordability and the fun and the hobby aspect of, of hi-fi and home theater put that back in the market because it had gotten way too expensive, way too serious for the average guy to, to put together a nice system without really threatening his uh, kid's college fund. The first four or five years was kind of, it was a hobby. It was, it was a sideshow, but we got really serious about it. You know, about uh, in 08, 09, we really got on it. When I watch the number of products that are going out of the door, sometimes I will go out in the warehouse and look at all the stuff stacked up and I kind of go, wow, this is, this is like a real business. But I don't spend a lot of time thinking about it. I just try to focus on keeping the company relevant with cutting edge technology and always, always maintain that high value to performance ratio. The processors are serious, serious business. The investment is huge. The technology is very complex. It's constantly evolving. It is a stretch for a small company like us to, to do this. But now I've been doing this, this is my, I think the RMC1 and, and, the, and the generation of processors that it will spawn, this is I think our fifth generation processor platform. It's the first time that we've taken total ownership of it from front to back. When we did the RMC1, we decided to do it completely in-house and it's been a huge challenge but you know it's like everything else there's risk and reward if you can get it done the reward is pretty spectacular I think that we've put two hard years of development into it and millions of dollars of capital in doing it and uh, we have an incredible platform and it's very flexible and it's very future-proof so this has definitely been the hardest thing we've done both physically mentally and financially it's been the biggest uh, the biggest thing we've ever bitten off I don't want to build this new product in China because I want it to be an elevated product. I want to have control of it. So as much as we can make in the USA, we're doing it now in our products and doing more and more of this all the time. Emotiva has started as an idea, as a hobby. Uh, it started with two products. It now has 125 products and growing. We sell throughout the world and we're not a marketing company. We're an engineering company and we're what I would call a pull brand. There's push marketing and pull marketing. The bulk of our growth is word of mouth and satisfied customers telling other people about our company and saying, hey, before you buy that, go check out Emotiva. People come to us because somebody else liked our gear, the word spreads, and to me, that's the best kind of customer because I trust you, you're my friend, and you, you have knowledge, and I go, I'm gonna go buy one of those. Well, that's really been how most of our customers come to us is we, they're, they're referred to us by their friends who have a great experience. So they go see our gear at another home and they like it and, and they become pre-sold before they even start. You have lots of choices in the world. We're a brand that's driven by engineering and quality and value. And to me, I like to know who's behind the products that I buy. I think that uh, if you look around and, and look at us critically and look at us competitively, and listen to what we're doing, I think you're gonna be favorably impressed. And we've been doing it a long time. We're the real deal.